For this project you will need the elastic lace, some stretchable fabric, I'm going to use a 4-way stretch mesh polyester, some soft lining fabric for the gusset, the pico elastic, the elastic for the straps, the rings and the sliders, and my rings and sliders are 10 mm, the same as my elastic. The threads. Some needles to pin the fabric. The ribbon. The scissors. The lighter. The piece of chalk to outline the pattern and the pattern you'll find the link in the description box below. Fold the lace in half and make sure that the scallops are matching each other. Then place the pattern on the scallops edge, outline everything with the chalk and after cut it off. Fold your fabric in half, place the pattern on top of the fold, outline everything using your chalk and after cut it off. Grab the lining fabric and place it here with the right side up. After, grab the front element and with the right side up, place it on top of the lining fabric. Do the same with the other element. Align everything together and pin it with the needles. Roll the front element inside the same way like I'm doing here. Next, grab the back element and with the face up, place it on top of the lining fabric. Take the lace gusset and place it on top of the back element face to face to each other. Pin it with the needles. Roll the back element inside, then go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here and here. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet.
grab the scissors and cut off the threads. After eliminate the leftover of the threads with the lighter. After grab the lace gusset and place it here. And pin it on top. Grab the pico elastic and sew it on here and here. Start to sew it here with the settings you can see on the screen. When you finish to sew, it should look this way. Place the elastic on top of the fabric face to face to each other. And yes, elastic has the right side and the wrong one. Basically, you need to place it right side to the right side. After, sew it here. When you sew, you don't stretch the fabric. You stretch a little bit only the elastic. Check the elastic everywhere, and if you see some fabric is coming out, then grab the scissors and trim this place, but make sure do not cut the elastic. Hold the elastic this way, and sew one more time here with the settings you can see on the screen. 
Guys, if you have a better settings to sew on the elastic, feel free to drop it in the comments. Fold the panties face to face to each other and align the side seams. Grab the lighter and melt the elastic. Stick it together. This tip will prevent your elastic from sliding while you are sewing. Pin it with the needles. Do the same on the other side. Now go to your overlocker or sewing machine and sew here. When you start to sew the side seams, always start with the elastic. Place the elastic under the needles and put the needles down on top of the elastic and start sewing. If you use this technique, then your elastic will be on the same level. This is the front element and this is the back one. This is the side seam. Make sure to push the side seam to the back element. And pin this place with the needles. Do exactly the same on the other side. Now grab the elastic again and sew it on here and here. In this place here and here, keep the free space of the elastic, I'll say around 2-3 cm to sew on the rings later.
This is what I meant by saying keep the free space of the elastic. Do the same here. Now it's time to prepare the straps. For this you will need the elastic for the straps, the rings and the sliders. Cut two straps like this. Grab the lighter and burn the ends of the elastic. Grab the slider and put the elastic inside. Go to your sewing machine and sew here. When you start to sew, make sure that there is no any metal object like a slider under your needle. Next, grab the ring and put the elastic inside of the ring. Take the same end of the elastic and put it inside of the slider. Do the same with the other strap. Grab the strap and put the elastic inside of the ring. Grab the slider and put the elastic inside of the slider this way. It should look this way. Take the end of the elastic and put it inside of the slider. On the other side of the slider, it's going to be an open hole. Put the elastic inside. It should look this way. Go to your sewing machine and sew here. Now grab the ring and put the elastic inside of the ring. Do the same on the other side. Go to your sewing machine and sew here. Now grab the strap and put the elastic of the panties inside of the ring. And pin this place.
place with the needle. Do exactly the same on the other side. Do the same with the back element. Go to your sewing machine and sew everywhere where you have the needles. Next, grab the needle and the thread and sew here first by the hands. Block the thread exactly the same way like you see me doing here. Push the side seam to the back element. Grab all the layers of the elastic and put the needle into the loop. Keep sewing this way. When you finish to sew here on top, you need to sew on the side as well. The principle of sewing is exactly the same. You just grab a little bit of the elastic and the side seam and you put the needle into the loop. Keep sewing this way until the end of the elastic. Block the thread. Do the same here. 